Hey everyone, it's Carly here, and I'm going to do a very, very quick, quick video because I've got to go to a family birthday party today, but I wanted to share with you, I made a couple cards because I'm, it's my aunt's birthday party, but there's a couple other family birthday part birthdays that happened this previous week was one of my cousins, and then my nephew's um, daughter's is next week, so I'm going to be giving them a gift because they live three hours away, and we're all going to be meeting today. Um, and I won't be able to travel for their birthday. Um, so I just wanted to share with you, this is my first ever Magnolia card. I did it really quickly. It's pretty basic, you know. Um, I used, the paper that I used is, um, one of the newer, my room is a mess. I'm sorry, I'm on my camera. I used the Tea Party from Craftsmith that, you know, we've all been picking up at Michael's. Love this paper. Look at my mess. Um, so this is the card that I made. I just, um, colored her up and I'm, I don't have Copics or anything, so I use watercolor pencils and I don't even have a lot of colors to choose from, but I just did a cluster of flowers, layered the paper, used a bunch of different flowers, some of the recollections flowers, some of the dollar spot flowers, some of the little ones from Hobby Lobby, and then I just used a Spellbinders die to put in behind. Did some paper layering, made a little birthday banner, and pulled out a bunch of different birthday stamps um, to use. So there's the front. I had fun. I stickled her up, um, all the flowers and stuff. It's probably not showing because of the lighting. And then I just covered up the little um, stamped image with an actual flower if it'll focus, which it's not. But there's the front of the card. And then the inside, I just used one of the cut-aparts, and then I just stamped happy birthday with some of my happy birthday stamps added some um, butterflies using my Martha Stewart punch another little Hobby Lobby flower and then of course stickled up on the paper so there's the inside of the card and the outside oh and my magnolia I added a mouth and a nose to her I'm holding her with my left hand because as you know they don't have faces and that kind of bothers me a little bit so I just drew in a little cute little pug nose and a little smile and I think she looks adorable and again that's my first magnolia I picked this up at Betty's yard sale one of the stamps and it's laying here on my desk somewhere Cause see I got a big old mess um that's a different one that's her no that's not her I was gonna use her but this is the one I ended up using her so she's cute so there's that card. Now the next card that I did, I had to make my own envelope. And I'm sorry guys that this video is all shaky, but it's, I gotta go soon. This is a card I made the envelope because I made this card. It's like a five by seven-ish type card, five, five by seven and a half. And this, I love this stamp. This is a stamp that I picked up at Betty's quite a while ago. And it is a scruffy little cat stamp. Her name is Chanel. Adorable. Just love, love, love her. So that's the stamp that I used. And again, use my watercolor because I don't have Copics. Um, and I love her eyes. I added a lot of stickles to her eyes to bling her out. Layered up some glitter paper. I used some animal print in the background. Some bling ribbon. And just went to town with flowers and stickles. And there's the sentiment from the stamp set. Have a fabulous birthday. Again, stickled up all the paper. Added a bunch of flowers. And that's the card. And then the inside. I just used the other pieces of paper that I layered up. And um, there's the um, sentiment from the stamp set. Your sensational. Did some flower clusters. Again, stamped happy birthday. And there's the inside of the card. So, the last card that I made, I made very, very quickly using a bunch. I'm reaching for it. Hold on. Um, a bunch of stickers because it's for my little grand niece, I guess is what she would be. And she loves the Frozen movie. So I just stamped up the happy birthday, added some Elsa and Anna ribbon, and just used stickers. Very simple. Used a little brad, a snowflake brad, and a little bling for the center and called it a day very cute and just stamped it in a uh, sentiment used the rest of the little stickers and you know sometimes it's easy just to do a basic card 
And um, originally I was going to cut, you know, go to my silhouette or cricket or whatever. And, and I thought, no, I just have some new stickers laying around. So I thought it turned out kind of cute. So there's that card. So that's my three cards that I made that I have to give today as I'm reaching for the other one. But I was very proud of my first Magnolia card. It's very cute. I love the image. She's really cute. And, of course, I had to do the face. So let me know what you think. I've got to get all this package, load up the van, and head out to um, my cousin's kennel. She has a kennel and, like, a little mini ranch um, where we're having the party today. So you guys all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.